right guys welcome back to another episode of m creator lore so today what we're going to be working on is basically making a couple unique tools uh, i'm not going to be following the exact pattern of the vanilla ones i'm just going to be using this as a general location to kind of figure out where i can create the the directions and stuff like that everything else will be basically handled like through my own texturing and stuff we'll be adding a different type of wood eventually in the in the future and I, i'm going to be taking today to basically just do all the texturing for these tools there's a lot of tools so there's a lot of stuff that needs to be textured if there it'll probably consist of today's video so that's basically what i'm doing uh that last mineral that item from last episode what i'm doing is i'm basically using the color palette from those items and i'm basically just making a tool set based on that so we'll be probably implementing some recipes and stuff for that uh particular one so later on i started kind of playing around with the texturing and once i was happy with that i started working on the wood texture so i wanted to kind of make a handle thing this is where that wood will come in handy i'm not sure what kind of trees we're going to be adding just yet but there will be a couple different variants obviously based on the biome that we're working in um this one the plains biome shouldn't have that many trees but there should be enough trees where it will still provide a little bit of wood because we currently don't have much for wood at the moment so we'll probably have a certain amount of things so the next thing that i wanted to work on was the sword the sword was a pretty easy one to actually do i just wanted to kind of figure out a way to kind of uh give the actual vanilla one a little bit different um approach to the thing and uh, you can see that i'm using the color white to to indicate all my changes and stuff so i wanted to kind of make sure that it was the outline that i actually wanted and then just started filling it in with the color that will be for the um the gem part so this one looks uh very interesting for the uh the sides that come off the the thing there i think there might have been something on the other side normally flipped for swords uh historical wise but i'm not sure about the ones that were going that direction if that was the thing or not let me know in the comments if you know if it was <laughs> but it just looks pretty cool so i thought i would add it and then i'm just basically filling in with some of the medium texture and then i was adding the darker texture along just to kind of give it that accent so i was just playing around with the gem at the bottom and then i started moving on to i think i moved on to what was it the shovel next or no i started working on the pickaxe next so basically just adding custom detail and stuff like that i had to revamp this a lot i ended up basically removing the entire texture and just trying from scratch because the vanilla one is actually a lot harder to work with um than like to create your own textures and stuff so it's it was a little harder and i had to shift it over one pixel because uh in order to get more of a unique shape i had to kind of mess around with that so i wanted to kind of see if i couldn't um get a couple different things with this uh particular design so i was i was revamped it a few times just trying to get the right look that i wanted and again i had to shift it over a little bit and i was just this was actually the hardest one that i actually had to play around with was the pickaxe because i didn't know exactly what I wanted and what would look good so eventually I got there um, just messing around with the shapes a little bit and then I started filling it in so this was actually a really nice one uh, the shape that turned out so I just started filling in the actual area trying to remember where the light source would kind of be and then I started filling in with a medium uh, medium color for it and then finally the dark texture for the shading and stuff so that's basically what I did for that and just added a little bit more detail playing around with those final pixels just to try to get that when i'm zooming in and out that's basically to kind of see what it overall looks from a distance um when you're working on a pixel art it's always good to zoom in and out to kind of get a better perspective of how things are going to look um on a larger scale um sometimes on smaller pieces you don't really need to do that but sometimes moving out on a distance will actually make a huge difference of what it will look like from a lot larger perspective it's easy to get stuck trying to see the same thing when you're all zoomed in and stuff trying to get that right shape so sometimes zooming out seeing what the actual look is 
And again, I'm working on the axe now, so I started working on the um, shape, and then I got something that I liked, and then I started working on the darker outline shape, and I was just using a little bit of noise just to kind of indicate where the dark shadows for the parts were, and then I started filling in some of the um, lighter color. I figured I wanted some texture to this, actually, so... I just started kind of playing around with the shapes a little bit with the medium pixels and stuff and then I decided not to do that and I decided to go with the darker ones on that and then kind of a medium one and then filling in some areas just to kind of give it that extra detail so that's basically what I came out with I was just debating for that last central pixel there and I decided it looked better the way it was all right, and then we had just the shovel left to do. So I needed to kind of figure out a unique design for the shovel. This was a really hard one to do, um, especially coming up with your own design and stuff. So I, I, I thought maybe something like a spear kind of texture, and I'm going, I don't know if I like that too much. It might have worked, but um, I was just trying to figure out what would look good for a shovel and I decided to kind of go with something similar to this I think so I started filling in the area and stuff like that with the um, medi the medium shade I think it was so I started kind of playing around with the shading and stuff and again I'm going for a texture so I wanted to kind of like get kind of that dimension and then I think I put the medium one or oh no that was a light one already so I ended up getting the medium one and just kind of filling it in a little bit, adding a little bit of noise and filling it in just where it would look good. Um, I wanted the accent for the center part to be the center there. So these are all the different tools that I basically created today. And it's all based off of that one gem. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below. We'll import these quickly into mCreator after we save save them but um uh, next episode what we'll do is we'll actually make the tools set them all up set the properties things like that uh but yeah outside of that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out